Okay, so if you don't like negativity, maybe stay away from the next two videos that I'm going to put out because they veer on the side of negative. But I want to just put out there that I am an AEW fan, but I've got to call a spade a spade here, and we need to talk about this. <music> Hello and welcome to FTTR, I am Hugh McQuaid and today we are talking about the important announcement from last night's Dynamite and why Tony Khan's announcement veered on the side of underwhelming. But before we dive into that, please hit subscribe, please like this video, please comment your thoughts down below on what you thought of this announcement as we talk about it. Okay, so the announcement was, the announcement was made last night with Nigel McGuinness and Tony Khan that the tickets for AEW All In Wembley will be going on sale December 1st with pre-sale going on a few days before, I would assume. I don't think there's been a date I've signed up for the pre-sale, but nothing's nothing's come through about a particular date for the pre-sale going live. But that was the announcement, the announcement that was hyped, the important announcement from Tony Khan. And okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about why I think this is vastly underwhelming and how it could be fixed how this entire issue could be fixed first off i just want to say i understand why he's done this it draws in ratings it's probably proven ratings draw tony khan makes a lot of big announcements on dynamite and they probably pop a rating fair enough that's okay you want to draw ratings that way i understand but to have it be not even the announcement of an event the announcement of tickets going on sale in a month, that is underwhelming, to say the least. It's not even like a shock. Tickets are on sale now. Tickets are going to be available in a month. I've got to say that's underwhelming. And there's one big thing that could be fixed here, because the only argument I've seen about this announcement sort of being good is that they have to promote it on TV. Not everyone is on Twitter not everyone is going to see Tony Khan put up a tweet or AEW put up a tweet saying tickets go live in December. Do both. Just put a tweet up before the episode saying, okay, tickets for all in Wembley go on sale December 1st. And then run the exact same promo with Nigel McGuinness and Tony Khan. Two birds with one stone. You have advertised it on Twitter you have advertised on Dynamite. You're not creating this misconception that you have a big announcement and then under-delivering because the receipt for these announcements now is just drastically dropping. Like, we're not excited about Tony Khan having an announcement anymore. It's just become a meme. It's become something that people can use against AEW and levy against AEW. A special announcement should be a special announcement and it should be really, really special. The date for when tickets go on sale is not of the caliber that we should expect from a special announcement. And it's just well of diminishing returns at this point. When Tony Khan says, I have another big announcement, who's going to like believe that now? No one. We're not going to fall for it. I get when he's done these, he has had big announcements like buying Ring of Honor all in Wembley the first time round. But it's just deflating it's really deflating to sort of be worked i guess we're being worked i guess i'm being worked i'm a a stupid mark for being worked at this i guess but it's just not satisfying and it feels like it feels cheap it feels cheap to get us in and i just i don't want that anymore i thought aw was sort of just above that at this point but it seems like they're drastically grabbing at straws to try and pull in people and try and pull in viewers and this just didn't sit right with me and I'm someone who immediately signed up for the pre-sale so I am a goddamn shill and probably a goddamn hypocrite as well but it's just it's, you just need to stop you need to lay off these announcements for the time being because it's just tarnishing the brand and tarnishing the credit and the cred that Tony Khan has 
with wrestling fans and that AEW audience it is going to chip away at that AEW audience which is not what we want and I'm going to use this as well so I've talked a bit of negative there that sort of wraps up my thoughts on that and sort of the um, the announcement itself I don't think it was a good idea you could have just played the video package and announced it on Twitter and had the same effect basically the shock factor the surprise would have been taken away but who cares because it's not really a shock factor you're announcing it a month in advance if you get me it's not necessarily surprising but in AEW's defense I think AEW in the past few months or so has really come under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of criticism particularly in the in IWC I hate that phrase I hate that term it's just yeah but with attendance and stuff like that people saying like oh my god aw is so empty they're not selling a lot of tickets that's just business business ebbs and flows like they've been around for four or five years now i'm trying to remember the exact date i want to say it was five years but i could be wrong i could be wrong they've been around for a long time and you know wwe was in the toilet like 2018 2017 it just ebbs and flows i'm sure aw will pick back up again and everything will be fine i just don't like this whole thing of wishing death on this brand this company just because like more wrestling is good wrestling and if AEW's around there's more place for people to work it's another alternative it raises all ships like just stop wishing awful things on AEW because it's just stupid you look like a mug like what's the point why would you do that so yeah that's my little rant about that Tony Khan just take a step back for a minute take a step back and be self-critical and self-aware and I think you would understand that these announcements for the foreseeable future need to stop so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will try and reply to every single one of these. Are you a fan of Tony Khan's announcements? Let me know everything down below and I will have that chat. But thank you all ever so much for your support and have a nice day. Mm -hmm.